Daniel here again. Welcome to our third videos of our recommended video series. And um, in this videos, I will share with you how you can develop a, a structure of the article list out of the keyword that you have explored in the previous step. So by now, you have already done two things. And two to us is probably one of the most important things you could do in your SEO campaign. The first is to satisfy Google by looking for all the subtopic and the main topic uh, you need to cover in order to satisfy Google, right? And to gain that expertise status. And the second thing is you were able to figure out what are the true demands from your users when they start looking for information regarding this subtopic. And that was by way of doing keyword research and using our Zen matrix, you were able to kind of categorize them into different groups of keyword that fit with different time and phrase of your SEO campaign. So with that in mind, you already now are able to develop a, a sort of pyramid structure with a pillar page or the keyword underneath, the subtopic one or the keyword underneath, subtopic two, keyword underneath, so on and so forth, all the way with let's say seven, eight or 10 subtopics that you decide that you will go with. But this will post another problem. The next problem you have to solve is now that you have all the keyword in place, Likely that you have covered around 1,000 plus or 2,000 keyword in the whole keyword list that you chose uh, for all these subtopic and the main topic. How do you now write the content for them? You can't really write a piece of content for each keyword, right? Because that would take forever and it's the amount of work and the amount of effort and money you have to invest in that would be huge. So one of the things, one of the things we have to do uh, back in the day as agencies is we have to do this process called keyword cluster. And keyword cluster, what it means essentially is that you will group keywords that have similar attributes like meaning, uh, context, or same root keywords, so on and so forth. So all of these keywords that have similar attributes together, you will rank, we will group them together because um, the likelihood that if you rank for one keyword, you will also be able to rank the other. For example, if you are able to rank for the keyword uh, best web design in New York, you're very likely to uh, be able to rank for the keyword uh, good web design firm in New York. So things like those, right? And this process is the most painful process for any, if you ask any SEO person in the world, because there's no tool that really helps support you do that. There's really no proper uh, training or there's no proper formula for you to do it right. You really have to go with your gut feeling and just depends on the team that you train. Um, I still remember we have uh, a client who at the end of the day, we agree with a keyword list of 4,000, which is a, is a big client. Uh, and it took us a good a team of three, four, four guys, a good four days to sit down and really go through them uh, and eventually decide on what are all the keyword cluster that we have to build and the article we have to do. That is insane, right? That's time, that's effort, that's money, and it's a lot of confusion because you're not gonna be able to know for sure that if your employer or the person you hire to do this are actually doing it right. They could just lazy off, right? And that at the end, you will have to pay when, the, when you try to do SEO based on those because um, some keyword will cannibalize each other, likely. All right, so for a long time, we, 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 were, we have to suffer with this until one day we decide that, okay, we have to figure out a way to build something um, that can solve this problem. And one of the way we could approach, uh, we approach this is um, to develop a tool. And our logic is very simple, right? If two keywords, belong to a group. It means that they have similar attributes. It also means that this keyword who right, who, who should group to, we should group the two keywords together if those two keywords have similar uh, Google results. What it means is that if you search for group keyword A and it turn out uh, all these 10, top 10 results, and you search for keyword B and it turn out this top 10 result. And if out of all these top 10 results, three or five of them are the same, then it's very likely these two keywords have similar attributes like meaning or context or uh, same root keyword. And we do a test over that process and we realize that it was 100% correct because we go directly from the result. 
So from that, um, from that result, we de decide to develop our own technology and essentially it does exactly that. So the process of our topic cluster or keyword cluster is to, if you have a list of a thousand keywords, for example, our algorithm will go in there. We check for the top 10 position of every single keyword and we look for all the similar uh, results that turn out. Keyword A got 10 results, keyword B got 10 results, keyword C got 10 results, so on and so forth. And then if any of those results have similar three to five uh, results that's the same, we will group them together. And that is how Topic Cluster was born. And so, so with that, I promise you, this is our promise, is that by the end of these videos, you will be able to develop a list of articles from the vast list of the keyword uh, you create a process which normally would take you hours if not days to do now will only take one click away and that would save you a lot of time and effort and a lot of a lot of confusion all right so uh just follow me through here so over here let's uh go into the tool okay so once we get into the tool, here's what you need to do. So in the previous step, you already have a list of keyword that you want. And what you did previously was to save that list of keyword in here, right? In the keyword list part. And you can see here, you have the nutrition plan keyword list that you have selected before. And that will be the first keyword list. And you will do this for all the topic and the subtopic you have, right? Because you will then have a list of article under each of the topic main topic and then the subtopic. So under each of these, you will want to cover all of this article, right? And also I will help to guide you through once you have the list of topic, you can also do another extra step that helps you sort of look for all other article that you can write to cover your funeral under each of the subtopic as well. But let me first show you how you can cluster the keyword, um, that key keyword list into a group of article that you can start executing on. Um, so let's say you have a list of keyword nutrition plan keyword list here with 824 keyword. What you can do is you will go into keyword import. You will import the list of keyword. I'm going to put the keyword here, nutrition plan. A location, language. Click import on file. Import from list. You Here you have nutrition plan keyword list. Click import. And there it is all the 824 keyword that you need to uh, to figure out the article. All right, um, so click add. So give it a bit of time. Once it appear, it will show all of the data in which we already run through using, uh, using Keyword Explorer and Golden Filter. So now in, here's the list of the keyword that you have in uh, using Keyword Importer to import the keyword list. What you do is you click on cluster and from here on, um, there's the, the word here, no data activate cluster function. Activate cluster need 220, uh, 824 keyword credits, your value credit is this. Click on activate if you wish to proceed. proceed. So just simply click on activate. So it will cost you about 824 keyword credits. But what it does is now our, our, our uh, system will check for the, uh, position of each of those keywords, the subs position, the top 10 position of each of the keyword, and look for all the keywords that have similar results and group them together into different article lists. This process will take a while. So um, typically it take a while because the algorithm require a bit of computing power. Uh, but normally this is um, set 71 minutes, but likely it will be about 30 minutes. So I'll be back uh, right when we got the result. Welcome back with the result. Um, so as you can see here, with the keyword data list of 824 keyword selected here, you have a cluster and um, let me shrink down my size. Um, scroll down, you will be able to see that there's 123 topics found. And 123 topics essentially is um, 123 different cluster, 123 different article you can write for 824 keywords. So instead of normally you would have to write an article for each of the keyword and that would be more than 800 articles you have to write. Now you only need to write 123 articles. And if you go through some of this, you may not even, you, you will find some of the articles you may not want to even write about. Um, so the next step is you will do this 
repeatedly to all the other subtopics you have as well. So over here, I already have uh, another subtopic kind of in place, inflammatory diet plan. And um, same, same process. Uh, over here, we have 100, uh, 187 keywords selected. Um, click on the cluster. It will take a while as well. But so for now, let's go back to nutrition plan and see what is the next step you have to do now that you have a keyword list. So what you can do is simply just export them. You know, over here we have a two options, export all. Um, and as you export um, in the data, we present them already in a way that you could just kind of have them uh, lay out in a very organized way for you to see. So let me pull it over here really quick. So we break this down into like um, three different uh, sheet down here. So the first is general info. So we break that. These are all the cluster you have. These are total search volume of each of the cluster that you can see. These are all the keyword for each of those in each of those cluster, the search volume for each keyword, CPC, the word count, um, some other attribution. So these are how you will see all 123 different cluster um, over here. And um, the, why we kind of design it this way is because this is a lot, it will make your life when you start working with freelancer when they start writing for you a lot easier because they you can just simply send this to them and they can start doing their work on Google Docs or whichever platform that you use uh, to forming the articles but or you can simply stay on writer's end and utilize the next two two sets of ours like content creator to see how you could just kind of use the keyword list from here and the article list that you have and put them onto the content creator to start um, your writing process. Um, over here, you have the details, which are break down this way, so it's easier for you to do uh, more of your organizing your own data. Um, third is single cluster. These are all the keywords that don't really belong to any cluster. So these are all the keywords that you may want to kind of just um, have a, an article that write about them, or some of them you may, you may even don't need to worry about them. You know, um, some of the articles that have a lot lower search volume, you may want to kind of take them out and you don't have to worry about them, at least for now. So you will want to focus, first of all, on the list of articles um, that contain some of the keywords that I have in there, right? Okay, so let's go back to the two. So as you can see here, each of these articles, now that you have all the list, um, what you can do is you just um, save um, you as you export down, you have now all the lists that you need, um, or you can just kind of select all. Uh, I think there's a there's supposed to be a button to select all uh, over here, but I think I I we need to create one that is select all for you. Um, what you could do is you can select or you can save this into the different keyword list that you would like, so that you can reuse them later in Content Creator. All right. So the next step is actually to look at all this list of keyword and you will define what uh, this article, for example, this article is, which position in the funeral that this article belong to. Because your goal is to really have an article list formed nicely in a funeral, top of the, the funeral, middle of the funeral, and bottom of the funeral, in each of the, in each of the topic in which you will write about, right? So, most of these article lists are the article in which if you write, you are able to gain your ranking easier. And the result of that is you are able to get organic traffic easier. And the result of that is to get more people converted. But in order to, for you to convert, you really have to get your audience into their own journey. For example, um, if you see this is a, let's say, protein diet for weight loss, right? And you click on this, and there's this three keyword, protein diet for weight loss in seven days, 12-day diet for weight loss, crash diet, weight loss for seven days. These are knowledge keyword, right? These are the keyword that kind of just show people what they are, the definition type of keywords. So this would, I would consider this into the top of the funeral type of keywords, right? And what you can do is you start to uh, maybe take this keyword out, Go into our Keyword Explorer, type it in here. Um, to start to look for keyword that in the middle of the funeral where it's more consideration phase. And the consideration phase maybe um, it's contained just more information, uh, right? And like, uh, let's see for some keyword you have.
Like for example, protein diet plan for weight loss and muscle gain, or um, protein diet plan to lose belly fat. Uh, pro so you will look for some other other keyword that it's this is by more by sense because you understand your um, your topic the best. Right, and you understand your keyword the best, and your industry the best. So, what my 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 uh, my suggestion is for you to start looking for all the keyword that if the article list that you have, the original one, is in the top of the funeral, you will want to look for all the other article that fit in the middle of the funeral, and then also look for some other keyword that would fit in the bottom of the funeral. So that if the if your users search see you. And they go into the top of the funnel article, which is all the, the, the article that regard just the knowledge and understanding. Um, they will actually gain more uh, curios curiosity. And they will right away, if you already have the internal linking into your next article, which is the middle of the funeral, they will click on that and they go to the article. And as they were reading more and more, they start to like feel, feel like, okay, I really like this website. I really like this content. And I would like to become the uh, customer. And you will have to have an, an article that serves as the bottom of the funeral. That's where you close the deal. For example, keyword like um, where to buy these things and how to you know, providing free nutrition plan for this. So free, best, some of those keywords are converted, conversion keyword. And um, you can probably look it up online. But essentially, you really are the one who know your customer best and you know your industry best. And what I suggest is once you define this list of the article that you have um, over here, go do that with each of these articles. It's quite important. It's, it takes some time, but it's very good if you build it for a long-term success. Really, SEO is all about planning. If you plan well and you really guide your your customer, not only now the first thing is they see, oh, this is a good topic. Um, I'm going to go in there and they read the first article. They're okay. I really like the article they wrote, but I will, I'm, I'm curious to learn more. And they will click into an internal linking uh, for the next article that you already plan out. Uh, and then they, they, as they read more, they decide, hey, you know what? This guy really know about what you're talking about. I'm going to be the customer. So do you want to be there at that last phase, the phase where they decide, right? This list of article tend to be the, the article that would gain you organic traffic, but doesn't really truly guarantee you the conversion. So as you go through and you do a bit, put a bit more work in your planning, you go through each of these articles and you start looking, okay, uh, what other article that I could, I could really explore so that um, it fit well with the user search intent. You can start going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Process will take a bit long, so you may not, uh, be able to do with all of the article, but you may do with some of the article that you think is very important, right? And this process should be repeated toward every single subtopic. Congratulations, because by the end of these steps, you are now already cover all three steps of the research phase of any SEO campaign. You have already accomplished building and forming a great topic cluster that really bring you to the expert status in Google standard. And you also are able to find and filter all the keyword needed that fit well with the user search intent. And you are able to look for all the keyword that actually give you a very good return and investment. And also you are now after this last step, I hope you also understand how to utilize our keyword cluster to bypass the whole entire manual tedious and painful process of grouping keyword manually and with these three steps into conclusion uh, the next step would be the first step of the execution phase this is where you will be able to understand how you could start by research and create the best outline possible for all the article that you write using our content creator tool and i can't wait to share with you more in our next videos I look forward to see you there